coverage you can count on. This is KCBD News Channel 11 at 10. Good evening and a thank you for joining us. A Lubbock man with disabilities has died from a brain bleed days after one of his caregivers is accused of striking him in the head. KCBD News Channel 11's Brittany Crittenden joins us now with what investigators believe happened and how they say the employee tried to cover it up. Brittany? Karen and Abner, 36-year-old Derek Bell is in jail tonight, charged with injuring a disabled person. We've obtained the police report outlining the attack and the probable cause affidavit leading, leaving, leading officers to arrest him. Investigators believe he hit 53-year-old Paul Reed in the head with a shoe and neglected to get medical help or report the incident. Reed died days later in the hospital. On June 2nd, investigators responded to the Lubbock State Supported Living Center after hearing a staff member had allegedly abused a resident. By the time officers were called there that evening after 8, 53-year-old Paul Reed was already in the hospital suffering from an internal brain bleed. Court records show medical staff discovered Reed wasn't acting normal, initially displaying signs of a stroke. He was taken to the hospital just after 2 in the afternoon. At least eight hours before that, between four and six in the morning, officers say the alleged assault took place. An employee told investigators she saw 36-year-old Derek Bell strike Reed on the head with a shoe. According to court documents, she says Bell then asked her to clean the blood from the shoe, so she did. When detectives approached Bell, he told them he didn't know about anything that could have led to Reed's medical crisis. Records show he later told them he wished to come clean. He claims he was caring for Reed alone in violation of company policy and tried to stand Reed up. He says Reed fell onto the floor, admitting he may have been rougher with him than he planned. A staff member reported several incidents that occurred that morning to the center's director of incident management. He said Bell and the female employee told him about their plans to change the logs of Reed's treatment, hoping to avoid being caught on camera. He says Bell also told him about his plan to get their story straight and said, I hope I didn't hit him too hard. Reed died in the hospital from a brain bleed three days later on June 5th. Bell was arrested the same day. Paul Andy Reed's obituary from the Sanders Funeral Home states he had lived at the center since he was 10 years old and loved music, food, laughing, and pulling pranks. It states he became a hero through organ donation and that while he could not be whole in his life, he made others whole in his passing. Investigators report Bell knew his actions could have hurt Reed. He failed to seek treatment, neglected to report the incident, and acted to cover it up. He's charged with injury to a disabled person and is at the Lubbock County Detention Center held on a $100,000 bond. The court record classifies this as a first-degree felony, punishable by at least five years or up to life in prison. I contacted the Texas Department of Health and Human Services for comment, but haven't heard back. Karen and Thank you, Brittany. We have